My name is Mr. THC, and this is my story on how consuming cannabis for the last 13 years has affected my life. This is my story, so by no means is this video meant to promote anything, nor should anybody do anything I talk about in this video. So I started when I was really young. I don't know why I started when I was so young. Nobody in my family smokes. Nobody around me smoked. I just dove straight into it head first, and before you know it, man, your boy was a stoner off the rip. And nobody around me, even in school, was really smoking. I was the one getting everybody faded. I'd be like, yo, you gotta try this. I, it's like I had just cracked the matrix or something. To be fair, I'm faded right now. I just took a dab while I started making this video and I was thinking like, should I do it sober? And I'm like, no, what better way to explain cannabis than to like be on it itself, you know what I'm saying? Now it's worth mentioning some of the positive things cannabis did for me when I first started. And again, this is by no means to promote it in any type of way, but I was really a socially awkward kid, you guys. Like I just couldn't get along with other people and I would have like this insane amount of fear inside me. I don't even know why I just carried around with this fear. And I felt like smoking got rid of that fear for me. It's like the fear of paranoia, the fear of failure, the fear of just like life. So if I had like a blunt sparked right now, YouTube wouldn't be very fond of it. So with that being said, I'm gonna take another dab and be right back. So I was a lot more exposed to the industry itself, mainly because of where I'm located and just the time that I was growing up. I'm in Vallejo, California, the Bay Area. We're close to San Francisco. The cannabis scene out here is hot. You know, strains are being made, the culture is being cultivated. And for me, that was just like, I was in love instantly. Weed for me just gave me like my own space. It's almost like I just learned to not care about fitting in and like, having everybody like you or not like you. I was just in my own world and I could give two craps about what people thought. Not just that, I'm pretty sure I got like ADHD or something, man. Like the way my brain works, I just felt like cannabis slowed it down just enough to where like I could still be productive, I can learn, I could pay attention in school and get things done. On top of like it helping with my mind, I feel like it did a lot for me spiritually. I was able to just learn a lot about myself at that time because when you are faded you know you're in a whole nother world mentally bro so it helps you kind of step away a little bit from the world and um, be able to see things from different perspectives not to mention business was a huge part of cannabis for me and it has been obviously to this point because it's basically became my job now as weird as that sounds i still can't believe that i get paid to smoke now we're gonna get on to the good part. The part I know you guys have been waiting for. What are the negative effects? Like, why even make this video if I'm just gonna talk so positive about the situation? Well, since I've been consuming for so long and I've been doing it day to day or all day or multiple times a day on various occasions, I'm here to talk about how I use it today, why I changed the way I use it, because I used to use it like, I used to abuse it. I wasn't using it, I was abusing it. So out of the 13 years I've been smoking, five of those years, I've been getting paid to smoke, which is trippy, right? So when it became a job, it was very different, especially my consumption, because now I'm trying to make content all the time, which means that I'm smoking 24 seven. Like I'd obviously been smoking weed up to this point, but the way it went when I started making videos was just insane. I thought I was smoking a lot back then, but back then it was probably like a joint a day and I was like, dude, I'm getting faded. And it went from a joint a day to three, to four, to five, to six, to seven, to eight, to nine, to 10, to like bong rips in between and dabs in between and maybe an eddy. Like I was just all day filming, which meant that I was getting faded all day. People were coming to my house 24 seven and all they wanted to do was get faded with Mr. THC. So it was just an insane leap, you know? Have you guys seen like those people that make like the food videos and you see them five years before and they're like skinny and they're just getting started and they're like, yeah, let's make these videos. And you see them now like, and they're all huge and chunky and you're just like, God, like you've been working, huh? You've been working, that's what happened. That's what happened with me and with cannabis. And when that happened, that's kind of when I was like, oh, I've like had, I've been creating these problems in my life and I haven't even been noticing it because I've been so faded, not giving a f I went from being a very productive stoner to a not so productive stoner. And it was just all the instant gratification I was receiving, you know? I'm getting money, I'm meeting a bunch of people, I'm starting to drink more now, cause again, I'm chasing the instant gratification. Like I'm getting followers, I'm getting hit up by people that I watch, that I listen, that like artists that I listen to, like it's crazy. It's like everything's coming at me. And while I was doing that, I'm getting so faded. It's like, I'm no longer going to the gym, bro. I'm no longer paying attention 
attention to what I'm eating. I'm freaking eating Jack in the Box at three in the morning and sipping whiskey. Well, rolling up another joint after a long day of doing this all day, you know? So it's like, I ended up getting heavier, you know? I felt just slower, I felt more sluggish. Like, after I looked myself in the camera, and people be like, damn, Mr. TC, you getting fat? I was like, damn, I'm getting fat. I've never been fat, why am I getting fat? And it's because as the years keep going and you just keep up these habits and you're not keeping up with every other area in your life, the sh it starts to catch up to you. It starts to catch up to you, you know, like, and I'm now, like, now the balance of how I use it is so different. To conclude the video, there was one main message I wanted to spread and that's if you're gonna use weed, don't let it use you. I overall feel a lot healthier nowadays. I feel like my discipline has just gotten better. I feel like I'm eating healthier and I just feel good. Now I'm not gonna sit here and blame weed for every bad decision I ever made in my life. It's not like the weed came and put a gun in my head and was like, smoke me now. Like, you know, obviously I made every single decision that I have to this point. And at the end of the day, it's more about just taking a step back, really looking at what you're doing with your life, making sure you're happy in the direction you're going. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe. I'm out.